Police are also looking for the driver who ran through a red light and plowed into another car driven by a 20 year old man. Well, that young man died at the scene and the other driver sped off without trying to help. The accident happened early this morning at the corner of DeSoto and Van Owen in Canoga Park. KKL 9's Joy Benedict live with an update on the investigation. Joy. Yeah, guys, later this evening, we did learn the name of the young man who died. His name is Nelson Castaneda. He lives here in Canoga Park, only 20 years old. And it's not hard to see just how bad the impact of this crash is. It's not one, but two utility poles remain here on the ground as folks were doing what they could to shore everything up. But those living in this neighborhood want something to be done. At this busy intersection in Canoga Park, it's the broken glass and down poles that caught the attention of those driving by. Reminders of a scene neighbors say happens too often. That's terrible. One of the kids got killed from this here. Um, condolences to the family. Word spread quickly that a 20 year old died early Tuesday morning in a hit and run crash at DeSoto and Van Owen. I'm very sad. I'm sorry for them. Investigators say the young man, Nelson Castaneda, was just driving home heading west on Van Owen when the driver of this pickup truck ran a red light at more than 80 miles an hour. The impact threw Castaneda's Lexus into a utility pole and he died on the scene. Our victim was almost all the way across the intersection by the time he got hit. And uh, it's just tragic. And although little could be done to help the 20 year old after the crash, witnesses say the driver of the pickup didn't even try. Instead, he took off on foot. It's really sad. Yeah. I don't know why the hit and run driver just lived. The LAPD used bloodhounds to try and find the suspect, but they lost the scent. And although little is known about the man who died, a lot is known about drivers in the area, and neighbors want something done. I need to slow it down out here, man. I was in an accident in March. Um, they need to put some speed bumps. Police need to do something, man. So something like this doesn't happen again. I wish well for his family. That's a tough one, man. So tough. Now, the Los Angeles Police Department tells me that hit and run crashes resulting in death are up 54% from this time last year, 90% from 2020. As for this investigation, right now, the LAPD is still looking for that driver that took off on foot. If you saw anything, if you've heard anything since, you're urged to call the Los Angeles Police Department. Guys. Joy, thank you. Tonight, we're learning new information about the deadly Amtrak.